Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. Well, welcome to the kitchen. Well, today we're going to be making a lasagna using the uh, leftover um, sloppy joe mix that I made the other day. And I'm going to point the camera around and show you what you're going to need for this particular recipe. And we're going to use egg-like wraps today. So without further ado, let's go right into the recipe. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also the uh, how we fixed up the sloppy joe. That portion of it will be in the video before the uh, we go into the actual recipe. So without said, let's go right into the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. Well, today we're gonna be making this Sloppy Joe mix, and this recipe comes to you from Jennifer Van's Low Carb Recipe with Jennifer. From her original recipe, all I just did was change things up a little bit. So what you're gonna need for this particular recipe is one and a half pounds of ground beef, one tablespoon of McCormick Montreal seasoning, and then we used a two bell peppers that I had previously chopped and used uh, from a leftover that I had from before. I used an uh, orange uh, pepper and a bell pepper on a green pepper and then a half onion. And then I got everything going with a little bit of butter and a uh, little bit of avocado oil. And then I fried up my ground beef and then I added the uh, Reyes uh, marinara sauce and I used that instead of the uh, tomato sauce and the tomato paste and maybe I used about a cup, a little over a cup probably, and then I used a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar and some Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of each, and of course uh, salt and pepper to taste. And then I ended up putting it on this uh, egg life wrap and this came out really, really good. So without further ado, if you just follow me along in the next step processes, you'll be fine and then we'll come back and talk about it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. So what I got going on here, guys, I added a tablespoon of butter in the frying pan and cranked up the stove to high, and then I'm adding a little bit of olive oil just to give it a really good flavor. And once you get the butter and olive oil cranked up, I added the uh, bell peppers and the onion and a, a little freezer burn on my peppers, and I just, I just wanted to kind of use them up a little bit. And then I'm adding a little salt and pepper to, uh, to bring out the flavor in the... Uh, peppers, onions, and I'm using pink Himalayan salt for this particular um, uh, recipe that I used. To change things up, instead of using the uh, traditional uh, tomato sauce and diced tomatoes and tomato paste, I ended up using the marinara sauce from this Reyes company with a very, very great product and the mackerels on the back, as you can see, are very, very clean. Now that the onions and peppers are all cooked and ready to go, why don't we add the ground beef, and today we're using 2080 ground chuck, and I'm just showing the demonstration how much I paid for it a pound. They got a very good price on this, and uh, yeah, so just open up the package, and we're going to put it in and get going on the uh, ground beef. It was a little bit uh, still frozen, so what I ended up doing was just kind of like working in gradually as I was continuing on to the uh, overall recipe. Moving right along, now that that ground beef is almost all cooked, uh, we're going to start adding in our uh, dry ingredients. This we added about a tablespoon of this Montreal steak uh, seasoning, and that's uh, really flavorful. I recently bought it and didn't know if I liked it or not, and I really absolutely love this on my steaks and on my ground beef. It gives it a really great flavor. And then I added a little bit of salt and pepper to taste there. I just got to be careful on the spices right now because I'm having a lot of problems with acid reflux. And uh, yeah, so I just, uh, 
eyeballing how much I was putting in. And once I got everything all cranked up, then I added about a cup of the uh, Raya sauce. And then I added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and just a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. And I was just eyeballing what I thought maybe a tablespoon uh, should have been. When I create a lot of these recipes there, I'm just eyeballing a lot of times because I've made these recipes so many times. And uh, yeah, so let's continue on with the cooking process. What I'm doing here, guys, once I get all the uh, green eases in, I turn down the stove a little bit there to about a medium heat, and then I'm just mixing it all up at the uh, mixing spoon that I'm big use, the big spoon that I'm using, and uh, to incorporate everything and to get all the good, awesome flavors that came out of this particular recipe. Now, uh, yeah, so uh, why don't we just continue on and, uh, you know, follow me along, guys, with the uh, process over here. And like I said, you guys are doing terrific. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming along my journey. And let's uh, keep going with the cooking process. And to keep this low carb down to a minimum on calories, uh, we're going to be using these egg life wraps. And I absolutely love these. They're really, really uh, low carb and they're basically just eggs. And you get these at Walmart, Aldi's, and a few stores. Hannaford sells them. And, um, you know, I, I haven't seen them in a uh, local market basket yet. But, uh, yeah, so why don't we just keep, continue on? Well, uh, Sloppy Joe mixes complete and what I ended up doing I ended up taking two egg life wraps and I ended up making them in, I ended up making them into a, a burrito type sandwich and they came out really really good and uh, of course the meaning of sloppy joe is exactly what it means a sloppy joe so I ended up uh, spilling it all over my nice brand new clean shirt that I put on this morning and uh, yeah just a uh, word of caution if you use an egg light perhaps you might want to use a fork so i ended up using a fork and after i rolled it over into a burrito and you and uh as you can see i'm just trying to well, get it to a some type of a shape where i could eat it without making a mess and i ended up making a mess anyways but there you have a final product and this came out really good right guys what I ended up doing with the leftover, I ended up putting it into a Ziploc bag, into a plastic container. I forgot to show you that part. This is the uh, sloppy joe mix that I made the other day. I just popped it out of the refrigerator. I'm going to put it in the microwave for about a minute and then kind of get it uh, cooked a little bit before we get going on the dish. And what you're going to need is some uh, ricotta cheese. We happen to have this brand. Then for our noodle replacement, we're going to be using this egg life wrap. Okay. Now, if you're concerned about the macros, that's what the macros are. Basically, it's just egg. So we'll use that. We'll layer it up. Okay. And then we're going to lay. We're also going to be layering it in between with uh, mozzarella cheese. If you're wondering about the noodles, yeah, they're like they're like this, or the egg like right, egg like wraps. You get six, one, two, three. We get about six of these in here. But they fit perfect into here. You just layer it up like that. I got this uh, Pyrex and uh, Coles. My wife got that for me a couple years ago for Christmas on a set. So I think one package of that's going to be enough. And I got the. Uh, Everything I'll see is a bagel, and then they got two packages of the, uh, that. And I'm going to be making some uh, pinwheels out of that piece of pinwheels later in the week. So, anyways, let's get uh, pop out a spaghetti sauce. All they do is they just put it out in the bottom of the, just like that. Okay, guys. I'm gonna layer it. Spread the cheese out a little bit. 
It's gonna all cook in anyways, guys. And we're gonna add some uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay guys, continuing on, so now we're just going to keep adding the mozzarella cheese, we're going to layer it out just like a regular lasagna. I ended up using a, maybe two or three of those egg life wraps, you can see me just laying it out like that, pressing it down a little bit, and then I ended up baking it off in the oven at uh, 350 or 375, I believe it was 350 and then I cranked it up a little bit to 375 for about 30 minutes until it was nice and golden brown and the cheese was fully melted all the way through the uh, the uh, lasagna and this came out really great better than I expected and uh, then I ended up having some leftover as always and then I put it in a couple of plastic containers which I'll show you towards the end of the video and uh, again I uh, hope you enjoy the video that I'm making and uh, I'm doing it this way now and taking out some of the background noise and everything because again we do live in an apartment and it gets crazy here at time and noise and street level noise and everything that goes on so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, just continue watching and uh yeah so i'll be setting this all up as a premiere and then i'll be asking uh or you can ask me any questions in the uh premiere chat and i'll be glad to answer them for you and i'm just showing you what i'm doing over here just adding a little more uh cheese i'm just kind of i'm layering out just like you would a regular design yeah just follow me along with the process and you guys will be fine you're doing terrific terrific okay so now that our lasagna is uh done and created now let's get that bacon in the oven for around 350 at about 30 minutes or 35 minutes and then when it comes out of the oven we'll let it set for around 20 minutes and come back and talk about it Okay, so our lasagna is done. It just came out of the oven, and what do you think, guys? So I ended up uh, using a paper plate, and uh, that was the uh, all the crusty cheese on the top, and just plating my plate. Yeah, look at all that. Doesn't that look great, guys? And it absolutely was fantastic. And so when you have leftovers, I, I would highly recommend just saving them and try to get recreative and make a di different dish out of it. And uh, if you look there, you have our final product, the uh, baked lasagna uh, with using egg life wraps. And I'm going to be making more recipes using those egg life wraps. And uh, I ended up going to three or four different stores before I finally found them. And uh, yeah, and then somebody told me where I got these at over there at Walmart. They do sell them at Market Basket, but they're over there in the cheese section. So, yeah, so uh, anyways, hope you really enjoyed this video. And uh, again, I'm at the end, towards the uh, next part of the video, I'm just uh, whatever I had left over, I ended up prepping those into two plastic containers. Again, that I picked up some prepping uh, containers with the lids and popped them in there so I can have them for future meals. So out of this entire meal, I ended up getting one, two, I ended up getting about five different meals out of this one uh, particular uh, yeah, uh, leftovers from the original recipe with the Sloppy Joe mix. And again, don't forget to go over there and support Jennifer from Low Carb Recipe with Jennifer and give me a thumbs up. And these are the uh, prep bowls that I got at the Walmart. So you can get these on the website, but I got them in store and uh, they worked out really well for this particular uh, leftover and I ended up freezing them for a future meal. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day.